this is Isai Brian. What's up, everybody? Um, today I want to share a very valuable knowledge. Very valuable. Today I want to share a very valuable information to all of my friend Jambais that are in current, they are, they are currently looking for admission into universities and polytechnics, etc. ETC. So. Um, I've gathered this one two years because I myself am a 200 level mechanical engineering student in the Federal University of Technology. You know? So all of these things, I know them firsthand from experience. I know them from anywhere. Um, I'm, I'm live, I've lived it. So every single step here, I took it to make sure I got my admission into the university. So I'm about to share it with you. So if you are currently looking for admission, this is a very perfect video for you that it will help you get your secure admission into any university you want. So, first of all, in my list is um, your, uh, if you have registered for your WAEC or NECO, then that's good for you because you will surely need them to get into any university you want. Then you register for JAM also. Do the registration for JAM. The, school you are mostly interested in should be your first choice in the university should be your first choice in the university and um, um you need a minimum score of 180 to get into university 180 and above depending on the course you want but it is it is usually a minimum of 180 for most universities for the polytechnics you need i think 160 to get into a polytechnic so if you are currently, if you are registered for your jam and you are just waiting for your duties to write the jam, you should start reading because you need a minimum of 180 to write your, to, sorry, to pass your jam and get an admission to university. So, after your jam, then, um, surely, don't forget, please, put the university you are most interested in, in your first choice and your course of study. In the first choice please because mostly people used to mistake this they will say maybe i'm interested in maybe Kaduna state university then i'll put it in my second choice no put it in your first choice please don't ever forget don't make that mistake then after you have written your jam and you have secured your 180 plus 180 plus in your jam so the next step you should take is um to upload your o level results into the jam portal because the jam jam uh the jam portal is the first person that will give you admission into university before the school even initiates any kind of admission letter or anything like that jam must um verify you and make sure you are eligible for any admission of any type into a school before um the school consider you so if jam jam give you an admission so it is highly likely the school are going to abide by that and just give you a direct admission into the university also. So make sure you upload your O level results into the JAM portal. <coughs> when you upload your O level results into the JAM portal, they will notify you immediately you have gotten your admission. So you are going to print your admission letter and all the stuff from JAM portal. There is a candidate, there is for the candidate use and for the, the, the school use. Mind my speaking, I'm stuttering a little bit. This is it's been a while since I recorded a YouTube video, so no problem. Um, you will upload your sorry, I'm talking about um, the jam portal. So when they give you an admission, there will be two slips one is for candidates use, and the other one is for the school use. So for the school use, it will mostly if school ask you for any type of maybe jam admission letter or anything. Is for the school use that you will upload. Don't upload for the candidate use. For the candidate use, is only when you are asked for your personal one. That's only when you give them your candidate one. But make sure you give them for the school use only. Then, then, then after Jam has given you admission, most of the time you really just give you admission. You have already secured your admission. Then after school have given you their own admission, then you will rush and you will rush and pay your acceptance fee because most schools this is and listen please this is where most people spoil their admission because um mostly if you have given admission you have like less than uh, seventy two hours 
to pay for your acceptance fee mostly so most people are not aware sometimes they will be given admission they will not know and their 72 hours will collapse without them even knowing so your admission will be without a paying acceptance fee your admission will be automatically cancelled and be given to someone so but if you are up to date you are online and immediately you see that the school have given you admission and you pay your acceptance fee you have secured your admission quickly and mostly acceptance fee for universities used to be 20,000 plus i paid my own 2019 20,000 naira 2019 federal university of technology naira i paid 20,000 naira for my acceptance fee and um <clears throat> after you have paid your acceptance fee then do well to also upload your o level results into the school portal you make your registration portal everything they give you your listing and all those stuff after you have uploaded your o level results then you are going to write your post utm post utm is utme mostly they are just using it to like test your ability i don't think it is a like a crucial part of you getting an admission an admission post utme they are just like testing maybe it's a kind of screen or something like that let them know if you are available or something like that but post utme is not i'm not discouraging you to write your post utme please do well and write your post utme it's important but it's not that crucial that if you don't if your post utm is not on point you are not going to get admission it's like a screening method or something like that so but please write your position i wrote my i wrote my and i passed yeah please do and do so too and then um after you pursue me then you have secured your admission for sure then you will now be up to date maybe if you want to do any kind of follow-up and um any kind of follow-up if you know any lecturer or anybody in the school board that you are that you know you should be a little bit closer to him because he will help you a lot in your will help you a lot in your admission whatever all those stuff so and um little advice i want to give to anybody that is looking currently looking for admission is um a mentor will help you more than you can ever think a mentor is basically anybody that is like that's been into the university earlier than you have done maybe a year or something like that that has a little bit experience into the school and all of those and all of those stuff those kind of guys will help you a lot maybe even before you even they even give you admission if you have any type of mentor please look for a mentor i had my own mentor my dad although my dad also helps me during my admission processes he like looked for a mentor at that time he was a 500 level uh, urp students at the time he was my mentor he helped me all those uploading my results going to write pursue me all those stuff he helped me a lot because there are a lot of things you are not familiar with coming out of secondary school and going to university there are a lot of things you have to learn to um like you have to adapt and learn quickly because if you miss them you are done and a lot of us don't know all of all the all those stuff so a mentor will help you a lot so please get yourself a mentor be his best man you guys should be together a lot a mentor will help you more than you ever think so everybody get yourself a mentor so this is like my first video in a while I've, it's been a while i will be i uploaded in this i uploaded a video into this channel so if you are watching this video and you reach the end thank you very much please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends it will help them a lot Thank you. See you in the next video.